Hello. I did just the artwork just today, my signature. I'm going to show you what I did. Okay? I'm going to show you what I did with this. The paint brushes I used were only a few paint brushes. Depends what you have. More paint brushes, more better. But I only used a few brushes for this artwork. These are the paint brushes. Here's a more oval. It's wet right now because I just finished this oval, half oval thing. Don't know the size. Eight. This is a nine bulb, I think, or six. And this is a shiny two. Other things I used were a palette to mix my color to get this tone and this tone, this tone. And the colors I used were brown, this yellow, this orangey, not this orange, this yellow, this orange, this, this blue, this green, this, this green, and this red. I mixed all my colors. This, the main base was this yellow, this yellow, and this orange to get this color. The shadow, this shadow right here, these shadows were just this orange. This this highlight was this. Moving to the stem. The stem was actually a color of this. This is not just brown. It's brown. The base coat is just brown and red. To get the shadow on this, I just added brown for a quick... Thing, and I slowly mixed into the regular color. For this, I had this color, so brown, a little bit of red, and this dark green. I think I actually used this green. I, I don't know which green, but a green. I think I actually used this green. For mixed it, for the sh shadow, I used this dark blue. Very rich blue. Of course, more dry it gets. If I spread it out more, soaks up more thing, and the darker it gets. For the highlight, I just used this color, this yellow. It's actually a little lighter. Of course, I'm going to show you all the colors, just plain colors I used. Here's the orange. Here's the red I used. This other yellow I used, I thought it was a little more brighter than the other yellow. Where I saw the orange, the green I used, one of the greens, I definitely used this orange, this color, the brown, I think that's all the colors I used. Of course, I can change it up. If you don't want to use the colors I used, you're like, I want to change it up. You can even use this purple. A purple is shadowing. See if you want a darker. See, that's a little light. See, you can even use this for different tones. Something, a quick trick is mixing it. I'm going to try and get that tone close as possible. So we're going to actually use this tone. Good trick to have one of these to get liquid into the pattern. Or just something, a syringe. You want to keep getting more of this. You want to get some of the orange. 
Just a little bit of the orange, more yellow. And that's the closest I can get. Pretty similar to this tone, not this tone, because these were two different tones. But we spread it. Look how close. That's pretty close. Um, next couple videos. The next video, we're going to be talking about all my art supplies and what thing. And for the outline, I used a alcohol-based marker with the brush nib. Next video, I'll show you more about this. Have a good day, and bye.